right, today we are going to discuss units of time. And in order to do that, we're going to use some models to compare some units of time. So the analog clock below has an hour hand, a minute hand, and a second hand to measure time. And you should already know this, correct? Yeah, all right. The time is 4.30.12. Now, you probably don't typically say this whole thing, right? If you look at the clock, you would say that's 4.30. The reason they add the 12 is because it's how many seconds past the hour. 12, 12 seconds, okay? So the hour is the fourth hour, the 30 is the minutes, and the 12 is how many seconds, okay? So you read it as 4.30 and 12 seconds. 4.30 minutes and 12 seconds after 4. Okay? Now, I'm sure that you probably haven't done the seconds portion of that. Right? Take a look at our clock on the wall. We have all three of the hands. So could you do this with our clock? Absolutely. Okay, our question over here to the side says, are there more minutes or seconds in one hour? Get it in? Seconds, of course. Okay? So we're going to write seconds. Now, there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. The clocks below show the length of a second, a minute, and an hour. Okay? Take a look here. You have a start time of 3 o'clock where everything is at zeros except for the hour. Okay? Then the next one is when one second elapses. And I believe you have a little blue line that draws it from the middle here to that one second. Yes? Then if you go over here and, if you, and you look, the time is now 3 o'clock with one minute or one second on the end of it. Okay? Then if I look at this one, it says one minute. Four sixty seconds elapses. So now look at what they drew. You see that it's going to the minute place. Second hand has made a full turn clockwise. So that means this has gone all the way around one time in order for it to make a minute. Make sense? And the time would be red three oh one with no seconds. See how it's back here, the red one. Okay. Then here you have one hour or sixty minutes elapses. So the minute hand has made a full turn clockwise. So the minutes have gone all the way around. That's why the entire thing is blue. And your time now is 4 o'clock, no seconds. Right? Okay. So let's look at example one. We don't need our pencil at this minute, so you shouldn't be standing over there waiting on me to stop talking. How does the size of an hour compare to the size of a second? So think about an hour versus a second. How many minutes are in an hour? 60. And it even told you that up here, right? So you're going to write 60 right here in this one. How many seconds are in a minute? 60 again. So I'm going to take 60 minutes times how many seconds? 60. And when I do that, I get what? 3,600 because you can multiply your sixes and add your two zeros. And they talked a lot about those zero things. So how many seconds are in an hour? 3,600. So that means that one hour is... 3,600 times as long as a second. So an hour is 3,600 times as long as a second. So you multiply the number of minutes in an hour by the number of seconds in a minute. Yes? Now, look at the math talk. It says here, how many full turns clockwise? Does a minute hand make in three hours? Think of the minute hand. How many full turns clockwise does it make in three hours? Even three full turns. Yes? We know that when a minute hand makes one full turn clockwise, that's 60 minutes or one 
hour that has elapsed. So if I'm doing that three times, it's going to elapse how much time? Three hours. So when the minute hand makes one full turn, it's an hour. When it makes another full turn, it would be the two. And when it makes a third full turn, it would be the three hours. Okay? Please listen carefully to which part it's asking you. Is it asking you for seconds? Is it asking you for minutes? Or is it asking you for hours? Okay? You need to make sure you pay attention to which one. Flip the page, please. Here is example number two. This time we're going to compare some measures. Clarissa spent two hours on her science project. Cliff spent 200 minutes on his science project. It wants us to tell him or them who spent more time. So who spent more time? Might not be a bad idea to underline the word more. So, how much did Larissa spend? Two hours. And Cliff spent? 200 minutes. Are those in the same unit? No. One's in hours and one is in minutes. So, we're going to make a table that relates our hours and our minutes together. And we should already know how many minutes are in an hour. Get it done quickly. We shouldn't be getting up while I'm teaching. So, one hour is equal to how many minutes? 60. That was something that they told us, which you should already know. So if I have two hours, how many minutes am I going to have then? I'm going to have to take the 60 times the two because I'm taking it with two hours and I get a total of 120. And then I need to do that for three. So I'm going to take the 60 minutes times the three and I get 180. So step two, I'm going to compare the two hours and the 200 minutes. So how many minutes was two hours? 120 minutes, and I'll let you abbreviate with M-I-N. And then I'm just going to bring down the 200 minutes because I want everything to be in minutes. And then what are we going to say here? Diane? Okay, less than 200. So 120 minutes is less than 200. So that means that two hours is less than 200 minutes, right? Because the two hours was only equal to 120. So who spent more time? Cliff spent more time than Larissa. And then you can look at these and know how many more minutes he spent than she did. If that was a question that they would ask. Sometimes they might. Now you might be asking yourself, why did we have to go down and do three hours? Well, you need to at least get a few there so that you have enough to do your comparison. All right, now we're going to compare the length of a week to the length of a day. Yes? Okay, and I'm, we're not going to use colored pencils. We're just going to do it shading with our pencil because it's easier than having to go get a colored pencil for one problem. So it says the number line below shows the relationship between your days and your weeks. Notice that you have weeks on top from 0 to 1, and you have days on bottom from 0 to 7 because there are 7 days in a week. So we're going to use our pencil to shade one week on the number line. So on the top, you're going to shade the whole thing across. Just make a little line across there, shade it, so we can see that all of it is. Let's go. And then we're going to use our pencil to shade one day on the number line. So where am I going to go on the bottom one? From zero just to one, and do it. Make sure it's underneath the middle line. That way, you can see the difference between your two shadings. So let's compare the size of the week to the size of the day. How many days? Seven. 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 Seven.
seven days in one week. And again, is that something you should already know? Yes. So we already know those things which should not be difficult for us today. So one week is how many times as long as a day? Seven. Seven. So not only are we doing seconds and minutes and hours, we're now also going to do days and weeks. Questions about the things we've done so far? Seven times as long a week is than a day. Something you should already know. Now they happen to give you a handy dandy little box again for units of time. Some of these we talked about already, some of them we have not, so take a look at them. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. We didn't talk about how many hours were in a day, should you know that? Yeah. And it is? 24, seven days in a week we already talked about. How many months in a year? Should you know that? Yes, this is one down here at the very bottom that maybe some of you have not talked about. 52 weeks in a year. Something that you might want to make sure you know. Okay, it's probably not something that you've talked a lot about, but it's going to be coming. So 52 weeks in a year. Okay, number one, read with me. Compare the length of a year to the length of a month. Use a model to help. So what kinds of model did they give us? They gave us the number one. Okay, and you can see the years are on the top. They go from 0 to 1, and our months go from 0 to 12 because 12 months in a year. So you and your partner are going to shade what you need to shade to show me the difference between them and compare them and then fill in what it says here. For number two and number three, you're going to have to use the things out of the box like we've been doing. If you already know them, then you don't need to look at the box. You might want to look just to make sure you're right. So I want you to finish the share and show with your partner, please. Do not go on until I tell you. All right, while you were working on that, I want you to remember the rules that we talked about with larger to smaller units and smaller units to larger units. If you start out with a larger unit, you go to a smaller unit, what do you need to do? Multiply. Multiply because you're getting larger because it is smaller, so you're going to be multiplying. So here is multiply. And then if I change that around and I go from a smaller unit to a larger unit, I am dividing. So something to remember, okay? All right, somebody tell me, what did you shade up here for this? I can see. On which part? Okay. And then? For the months also? Okay, so what'd you fill in here? All right, and you can see that because you have one on your number. Well, now we didn't give you a number line because you know how many months were in a year. So would you still fill in something like this? All right, number two. Great, what you do here? I want to know how many seconds two minutes is. So what do we have to do? So your first thing should be looking up here at the two units you're using. What are they? And why 60? All right, what'd you get? All right, so you need to make sure you know that we're in seconds and minutes. We need to look at the difference between seconds and minutes. That's where you got is 60. Number three. Is that right? Show me what you did here. All right, do we agree, class? Mm -hmm. And was our explanation okay? Yeah, that's what you need to be doing. Instead of saying, oh, I know that four years is 48 months, does that tell you how you got it? No. no. So you need to make sure you're explaining that. You know there's 12 months in any year, so you're going to take 12 times 4. All right, do the on your own portion. You may go ahead and work on the problem solving as well. 